Hello folks, this is Ron Krause. A lot of you know who I am. A lot of you are aware of the notebook that I've collected over 20 years. It has a lot of material in it. Um, this is just some of the material. For example, this is a FEMA directive um, through executive order where they can basically come and take everything you own. Uh, a lot of different things. So what I wanted to do with all the documents that I had, I wanted to take and make a condensed version. And that's exactly what I did. What I did was I called it the Paul Revere Institute. And there's a reason that I did that was that Paul Revere got the word out. Now, within the notebook, you'll get a disc, and on that disc, uh, there's about 15 documents. Also, I'm going to give you a pocket constitution. Now, I take donations for this, and a lot of people say, well, you should do it for free. Well, folks, I'm constantly giving these books to not only law enforcement, but also other people to help educate and to train and recruit and to show people facts. So, all I'm asking for is that uh, folks make a donation and to help out. Now, uh, I get into my background here, and you can see it uh, for yourself. A lot of you know that I was a legal researcher, the legal researcher for the uh, Oklahoma City Bombing Investigation Committee with uh, Charles Key. I was also one of the investigators. Um, a lot of folks know, too, that uh, I worked on the uh, film production for the documentary The Noble Lie with Chris Emery. Now, you won't find my names in the credits, and that's because Chris Emery and I had a falling out, let's just say. With that said, um, I began researching this stuff over 20 years ago, collecting newspaper articles, as you can see. And this is part of what's in the book now. I took my best documents and put them in here. Um, basically, I break down constitutional law, as you can see. Now, this stuff is straight out of the law books. It isn't he said, she said stuff. Um, you can see there that basically Treaty with the Four Powers is the supreme law of the land. I believe that this is how they're going to ram some of the stuff down our throat, potentially. The Second Amendment, I pointed this out before in other videos, that um, basically doesn't grant the right, it recognizes the right. And it shall not be infringed, means no more, it shall not be infringed by Congress. Case law points out the same thing. You can see it right there with your own eyes again. So, when people run around yelling that uh, the right to keep and bear arms is granted by the Constitution, that is not correct. It recognizes a right. Now, these are things that I pointed out. Now... Some of the other things that I've done is I've worked with Jim Tresman up in New York and supplied him with research that he's used and been successful with. Um, there's going to be congressional record in here that basically shows you that Congress has really been a failure at gun control. Now, here back in February of uh, 2013, uh, I believe it was, I uh, went to a hometown meeting, maybe a little bit later, I don't remember the exact date, but uh, Colburn was there and I pointed some of this stuff out. And needless to say, he wasn't a very happy camper. In fact, I received a phone call from the ABC people the next day. But basically, the right belongs to the people. And this is something, too, that I'm going to give you a whole uh, document on the disc that points out that the right belongs to the people, not the government. And you can see right there, it's a memorandum of opinion for the Attorney General's office. It's 106 pages long. This is some of what Tresman is using. Also, I'll give you the Small Arms Treaty within the book. When you hear people talk about the New World Order, a lot of people are going to say it doesn't exist. That's not true. There is in black and white. You can see it for yourself. I pulled this document myself. Oklahoma, we did the same thing here. We recognized uh, the New World Order, at least our legislators did. And you can see the date there and those who did and basically what they had to say about it. Now, these are documents that you can use to educate your friends and your neighbors. Um, you can see right here that uh, the revision of the United Nations Charter, you can see the date there. Now, this is another document that I pulled over the years. You can see that uh, Mr. Smith told you that he'd appeared in opposition to it. And the reason being, you can see it for yourself, it's a surrender of our sovereignty. This is what the... Congress of the United States has passed. You can actually see the um, public law there. Of course, Congress passes a law, it becomes public law, then it becomes codified. Now, this is going to be found in Title 22, but here is the precursor to it. And you can see it right there, too. So, for those of you that don't believe that they're going to try to take your guns away, um, well, I think it's already too late. We've already seen attempts at it. 
this is the actual government document. Uh, again, you can see when I pulled it, it's been 20 years ago. And you can see it right there for yourself. The United States Program for General and Complete Disarmament in a Peaceful World. Um, this is some of the stuff that I have that I've researched over the year. The UN's Weapon Treaty. You, you can see that for yourself. This is something I actually pulled off the internet. Now, some of this information you could probably get off the internet, but a lot of these materials I actually went down and pulled out of the law library. Again, I use these materials to educate people. So, weather control. What they're able to do with it, I don't know. A lot of people talk about HARP. Um, I believe it's a, entirely possible. You can see here's another treaty dealing with... Um, weather and uh, environmental modifications as weapons of war. And again, this was pulled off the UN's website. Some of the things that they name, I want you to take a look at. You can see it for yourself. Now what they're able to do, I don't know. I think it's odd that it's there, so there must be a reason. Um, look up Operation Popeye in Vietnam and Operation Woodpecker. Um, the National Economy and Banking System of the United States. This again is a Senate document, you can see. I pulled it. And it's very interesting. There's a couple of things in there that I want to point out. That Benjamin Franklin talks about the Rothschilds being responsible for the Revolutionary War through the banking system. And there are also quotes from Rothschild in this document as well. And what he's pointing out is that basically those who control the money control the country. And he's absolutely right. Woodrow Wilson said the same thing. You can see it right there with your own two eyes. And this is in 1916. Often we hear people talk about the banking system again. And if we look at Trading with the Enemy Act, you can see this is a document that I pulled myself. Again, there's a receipt for it from the law library. And basically this is how they made it illegal to own gold. They use Trading with the Enemy Act to remove us off the gold standard. These are the type of materials that I use to educate people with. Again, I give these to law enforcement quite often um, and others and help their recruiting efforts. Usually I take a donation for them. If you'll contact me, I'll get you the information you need. If you've got any questions, let me know. Again, within the material comes not only a Constitution handbook, the Citizen's Rule Book, good information there, but you get this disc that has quite a bit of information on it and the book. This is something you can take and show your friends. If you have any questions, please contact me. Again, thank you for watching this video and do your part as we all should be doing. God bless you. Thank you.